All right, everybody. So um, this is a throwy. I'll write that down. Throwy slash wild style tutorial. Okay. So in order to avoid being a toy, which is I would say it's it's slang for a noob, uh, somebody that's a greenhorn, a beginner. Okay, a lot of toys think that you have to. Um, what should I do for a tag? I'll do my initials. Okay, they think that you have to like make every single letter exaggerated. Problem with that is y you lose the beautiful aesthetic of doing tags um, or building a foundation for a throw or a wild style, okay? The advice that I was given is manipulate one letter, okay? So the first thing that we should do is just a straight up line drawing of our letters, okay? So let's try this again, all right? I'm going to exaggerate my S because that that's got a lot of movement as far as letters, and then everything else keep it nice and simple. Okay? You manipulate one letter and exaggerate that. Okay? Now I'm gonna draw the marker to show you step two. Okay? Step two is creating the muscle or fat around the letters. Right? Don't worry about overlapping uh, letters either. Don't don't worry about that. You could do this step all with pencil, but it might be a little bit confusing because you're using the same tool, which is making the same color or value. That's why I find to use like maybe a marker or a pen that's a different color from the pencil makes things easier to see. So this is a classic throwy. This isn't really a wild style, okay? Um, and this is good. This is a good intermediary step before you go into a wild style, in my opinion. Um, however, if we're gonna do a wild style, now what you should think about doing is manipulating each of these letters and exaggerating them a little bit more. Keep the integrity of what I said earlier. These two letters are going to be legible. This one's a little more exaggerated. So let's take that one step further, okay? Now I'm going to I'm going to throw some flare S. Some little doodads, some little characteristics. Um, and then I'm looking at the M there. Let's hide that A. And then these little, you know, um, what should I call them? Uh, these extra characteristics of the S, um, just for consistency throughout the rest of the, the wild style. And I would say that this is starting to get to be more of a wild style, the S, but it's still, by and large, a throwy, which is actually, for today, 
that's the only time. Um, right? And one extra thing is you could do a drop shadow. But please make sure that your drop shadow has a consistent thickness around your letters. So the angles need to be consistent to one another as I go from detail to detail. And the thickness of the drop shadow should be consistent as well. And there's a little bit of uh, thought to this, a little bit of problem solving. Um, as you go around your, uh, your tag, your throwy. Like in here, it's going to probably just be filled up. You know? And then maybe as I make my way around there, it just starts to get closer to the letter. Yeah, maybe switch my hand holding position to make this a little easier. A little more control. In the beginning, this feels a little clunky, and you do have to stop and think, but over time, it, it makes more sense. I'm recording. Thanks. Yeah, that's it.